Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Thursday, September 24, 2009, and today we're reading 1 Chronicles chapter 22. And there's really a lot of different things in this chapter. I'm just going to touch on a few things, just mention it really. Um, so, as always, I encourage you first to read the chapters through for yourself. See what you get from it, and email us, and um, tell us what you think about it, and we'll put it on the blog. But uh, we see in this chapter, it's kind of like I said, just a couple of things I'm going to mention because um, there's a lot of different things you can get from this chapter from you know David's <coughs> um, preparation, uh, even preparing for his son Solomon to build the temple and getting things in order for his son, uh, even the workers and the um, necessary um, pieces to, to, to build the, te the temple. Um, that was an important lesson right there of just the preparation that they went through for his son. And even the temple itself of how um, you know outstanding this, this temple was supposed to be that other people from around the country or whatever would know about this, this, this temple. And just how it was supposed to be an outstanding building, not just an ordinary uh, place, but something that was magnificent really. So that was another lesson even in there of how um, the temple of the Lord was supposed to be a, a magnificent uh, structure. And thirdly, I want you to mention, uh, even why David could not build the temple because he had the, uh, you know, he had, he was a warrior. He had killed a lot of people. He had a lot of blood on his hands. But because Solomon really was the only one, I guess, that was qualified to be able to build a temple because he, when, remember, when he was um, king or became king, he wasn't at war. He didn't have war with, with people. And so actually his wisdom, the wisdom that he had was able to, um, even keep him from war, but he was the only one that was qualified to build the temple because he had no blood on his hands. So he was kind of, uh, I would say, not perfect, but you know he was uh, clean in that way, and he was the one that was qualified to then build the temple. So uh, those are the things I noticed as I was reading this chapter. Like I said, there's a couple of different things you can pull from and um, go deeper into lessons, but I just want to share those three with you today. With that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.